Another project we're doing, leveraging the Fab Lab network, grows out of a class at MIT. With all the tools I run on campus, uh, I had a problem. It took too long to teach people to use them. So I started a class called How to Make Almost Anything. And the idea was just that. It was using all these machines. And it covers 2D design, 3D design, hardware, software, circuits, fabrication. And it was aimed at 10 or so research students working on the fundamental science. But every year I teach it, I'm overwhelmed with hundreds of students who just are desperate to take it to make stuff. And um, we've now slowly been colonizing campus. We added a second lab in the center of campus through architecture. We just added a new lab in West Campus through um, a, a number of groups at MIT uh, to expand capacity for this class on how to make almost anything. Um, so in turn, we found the same sort of demand from the Fab Lab network in the field. Amazing kids coming up, learning skills I didn't learn until I got to MIT and then falling off an educational cliff. The usual answer is you have to go far away now to an elite institution. And so um, using the Fab Lab network, we're now teaching a Fab Academy, its principles and applications of digital fabrication. But instead of coming to a central site like MIT or distance learning where you look at a computer screen online, we have students in peers, in work groups, in these labs with local mentors, and then they're linked by global video and online content sharing. And so it's a networked campus rather than a, a, a hub and spoke campus. And we're a few years into doing that, building this fundamentally distributed educational model. It, it works in many ways like MIT does, but it's, it's, it's in this kind of scalable distributed way. There's still things we do on campus that need much more expensive tools or much more specialized background. You couldn't do that way. But a lot of the things you used to have to come here, you can now distribute.